everybody welcome back to another fun and exciting geometry class today we are going to just continue talking about constructions uh, last class we discussed uh, circumscribing a circle about a triangle today we are going to talk about inscribing it inside of the triangle so if you look down here we'll just jump right into it I have a triangle and what we want to do is we want to put a circle inside of that triangle we want to inscribe it inside and so when we do that, I wrote down the word here, I wrote down the word in center. We need to find the in center of this triangle. Well, how do we do that? Well, go back to page 111, page 111. And there you're gonna see where it talks about the in center. So how do you find the in center of uh, the triangle? It is theorem 30, the bisectors of the angles the bisectors of the angle. So what we want to do is we want to bisect three of these angles, and that is going to tell us where um, our in center is. So what we need to do is grab our compass, and we're going to come out here. Um, I'll put this in a little different color so you can see what I'm doing. Um, again, we want to bisect. How do you bisect an angle? Well, if you don't remember how to bisect an angle, make sure you go back to that construction and take a look at it. But I'll just do it for you. I'll model it here. And so we have our um, build our arc, basically. And then you want to come out here to this point, And we can scrunch this back down so it doesn't get too crazy out there. And we just lock it in in you know wherever doesn't matter what place you lock that in and you come here and it just has to cross basically all right and so there's our angle bisection so we're going to take now and we're going to put our straight edge out here give me just a second to do this and then i'll kind of fast forward the next one so you don't have to watch me but i'll just do one of them just try to model it for you so you remember how to do it it's been a while since we've done it all right and that's pretty close we will take our blue pen and there we go all right and you can run that all the way up through because you don't really know where the other ones are going to intersect so bisect the angle if you need help with that, go back in your book and find out how to bisect. All right, I'll be back in a second, and all the other lines will be there. All right, so I've got the three lines on here now. You'll see that the red one is a um, bisection of this top angle. The green one is a bisection of this bottom right angle, and then the blue one was the bisection that I showed you. Now, if you look, all three of them meet up in one place. And so now we would come over and get out our compass. All right, so what you wanna do is kind of bring your compass over here, put it on the center point, and then kind of find where it's going to touch one of those sides. Okay, like at the shortest point. So you kinda of wanna, that looks pretty close right there. So we'll, we'll try that. There you go. It's touching that side, and it's pretty close. We're not too bad right there. So there you go. There is the inscribing of the circle. We bisect all three of the sides, or all three of the angles, and then where that center meets, that is the center point of our circle. And then it's not quite touching this one side, and it's kind of going over just a little bit, but we're really close, all right? And again, you should be getting it even closer on your, your piece of paper. The next thing we want to do in today's lesson is 3.26. And 3.26, um, we're going to construct a tangent to a circle. Okay, so I've got a circle on the board through a given point. All right, so I've got this, this red point here. And now what we want to do is we want to construct a tangent that goes through that point. We want to put a tangent through point P. How are we going to accomplish that? Well, the first thing that we want to do is let's draw a radius from the center point right here up to point P. All right, so there's our radius. So it goes from center point to point P. Okay, so once we get our radius on there here's what we want to do remember one of the things that we've learned about tangents is that they are perpendicular to the radius and so what we want to do is through point p we want to draw 
a perpendicular, okay? Um, now, one thing that probably would be helpful right here is if we extended um, this line up through here. That'll give us kind of a little bit more to work with. You don't have to do that, but I think it'll be helpful. So if we come up here now and we can take our um, compass and we can put it on here. And again, we want to we want to make a point that is perpendicular point here and our point here. All right. And then we'll come to that spot and we can we can open it up to as far as we want to or as small as we want to. But then we'll lock it in again and we'll make our arc up here. And then don't forget, you have to make one also down here. And then we'll have to do the same thing. I'll have to spin this the other way so that I can don't lose it. And we put our point here and we complete our arcs. Okay, so there you go. I just cannot kind of connected those two arcs. You can kind of see it kind of connects there. We're going to pretend like it connects there even if you, it doesn't. It does. You can see it. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and get our straight edge out and what we want to do here is we want to connect those two points where they intersect where those little intersections were oh it takes just a second to get it right pretty close we're going to go with that and you draw your line well that wasn't as close as i wanted it to be here we go all right, and then we'll draw our line right there. And there you go. There is your tangent from that point. Your book shows it just a little bit different than I than I just showed it to you right there, but it's close. It They have just a little bit different method of doing it. Um, then the other way would be from a point outside, um, and really you have to kind of do the same thing. You just make it... Um, you make this line just continue out to your, your point outside. But you can look through the book there. That's on page 168, and you can develop um, your way to do it if you're trying to create two, point, two tangents from a point outside of the line. So, all right, well, that's all I have for you in these two lessons. Those are pretty short lessons, not too bad. So uh, review that. The biggest thing that you have to remember is all of this stuff works together. What do I mean by that? Here's what I mean. The things that we learned at the beginning of the year, we're still using, okay? So you have to remember all of those corollaries, all of those theorems, all of those axioms, all of those things that keep piling on top of each other in order to allow us to do the next thing that we need to be able to do, okay? So um, the things that were in the first semester, you can't just forget them. We're still going to be using them. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.